AFC North quarterback in the news today, not because he saw a UFO, but because, well, I'm not going to go there. The bottom line is the Steelers and Big Ben have their contract done. And, you know, Peter, I don't know about you, but I had a feeling this odd delay in something that could have been done in a half hour if all they're doing is taking his $19 million and moving it around and creating cap space by converting the maximum amount, $18.975 million, $925 million, excuse me, into a signing bonus would have been easy. Nothing. And it made me think they're trying to take some of his money. And they did take some of his money. They took $5 million from Ben Roethlisberger, 19 down to 14. They took the remaining 14, did the restructuring trick, maximum signing bonus, or $12.925 million, $1.075 million in salary. They, uh, they've created $14 million in cap space, but they, no, that $19 million in cap space, not 19. Wait, I'm, I'll, I'll get it right eventually. If I say enough teens, I'll get there. $15 million in cap space. No, $14 million in cap space. $14 million? Whatever it is. They reduced the cap space. We'll, we'll work on the cap space. $14 million is what he's going to make instead of $19 million. That's $5 million off the top. That's an easy math problem for me. And, and I was surprised by it. I was surprised that, that it happened, even though Ben had said he doesn't care how much he gets paid this year. You can say that all you want. Doing it is a different proposition altogether. Yeah, this this reminds me a lot, Mike. You remember back in 2015. I mean, Peyton Manning, at the time, Peyton Manning was playing a lot better than, well, he was playing better than Ben Roethlisberger uh, played at the end of last year. Let's just say that. He wasn't playing a lot better than Ben overall. But he ended the 2014 season on a great roll. Uh, you know, 2012, 13, and 14 in Denver. And John Elway came to him in the spring, you know, before the league year began. And he basically said, hey, Peyton, I know you're great. You've been great for us. We got to take your 20 million down to 15 and or down to 16, excuse me. And we will put the rest of the money that we're taking away from you with this little salary haircut We're going to put the rest of it in uh, bonus money, incentive bonuses. And, you know, not just performance, but what the team does. It turns out they win the Super Bowl. And so he gets all of his 20 million that year. You know, the, the, the 4 million was used, if you remember, Mike, to sign a guard that they felt they desperately needed, Evan Mathis. Now, it turns out Mathis didn't really work out for them that year, but... This reminds me very much of that. I don't know that the the five million dollars that the Steelers will save uh, in this is going to go to one player, or if it's just going to go to the pool. I assume it's just going to go to this pool that they need to try. Now, hey, look, Mike. Whether this means that they can get one of their free agents back, I doubt they're going to do that with Bud Dupree. Doubt it. Uh, and I doubt they're going to do it with James Conner either. But if they use it for one guy, you know, that will be a, a good use of the money. But I think they're probably just putting it toward the larger pool of money that they need right now to sign all their, you know, all their guys who are who are on the cusp. I think you're absolutely right. And I've finally gotten my teens together. It's 19 million he was supposed to make down to 14 million he will make with 15 right. million in cap space created. He still has a, a significant cap charge, 26.25 million under his name for this year. Better than 41. A lot of that ha- <laughs> far better than 41.25, which is what it was supposed to be. And Peter, I'm glad you mentioned Peyton Manning because They took the multiple millions away from him in his last year with the Denver Broncos. He wasn't happy about it. He ultimately earned it all back by winning the Super Bowl. I was a little surprised that they didn't give Ben a similar path to earn the the money back that that he's not going to make this year. He gives up five million. Why not let him, you know, even if it's just two or three million. Put an incentive on there that if you win the Super Bowl, you get this back. That's a hell of a problem to have if they end up next year having to account for 
that extra money. That's how it would work. It wouldn't retroactively apply to this year's cap. It applies to next year's cap. And look, if he's done playing next year, there's going to be a reckoning. There's going to be a, a cap charge. All the money that got pushed forward from this year, that $15 million is going to hit next year. But throw on a couple more million if you end up winning the Super Bowl. That falls into the good problem to have category. And I'm surprised they didn't do it. And maybe Ben wanted it and they just said, no, we're not doing it. I mean, that's possible, Mike, but I think, and I'm not saying Ben Roethlisberger's words hung himself, but, you know, he basically came out and said, look, I don't care about the money I made. And he's a different cat. He just is. I, I, I'm not really that surprised that he's doing this because I think he feels like, hey, look, you know, if I keep making the money that I'm supposed to make, all of my teammates, I'm going to walk in the room. Uh, you know, when we get to Latrobe, or if there is even a Latrobe this summer, uh, it, or just their 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 locker room, that, you know, in August, I'm going to walk into the room and I'm going to look at guys because I can tell you, Mike, this is the way some veterans feel sometimes that they walk in the room and guys are looking at them sideways because they're the eight the quarterbacks are the 800 pound gorillas, and all the rest of the guys in the locker room end up. To some degree, many of them end up making less because of what the quarterback makes. And that's the way life goes. We all understand it. it it's, not, it's, it's nobody's fault. It's just the way it goes. But I think in this particular case, Ben Roethlisberger throws a lifeline to some guys in his own locker room who are going to look at him and say, hey, listen, he's the quarterback, but he got a $5 million haircut. And so I think to some degree, Mike, this is one of those things that Roethlisberger probably curried a little bit of favor in the locker room with. There's also a pragmatic element to this, Peter. One of the points we had made before this became final, $19 million that Ben was due to make. No one else would have paid him $19 million if he was available as a free right. agent this year. I'm not sure that someone else would have paid him $14 million. Not that the Steelers were going to cut him or that, more importantly, Ben was going to go play for someone else. But your market value has to factor into this to some degree. The other side of it, too, what would they have done without him? They would have been throwing in the terrible towel on the season before it even began because your options are Mason Rudolph, Josh Dobbs, and Dwayne Haskins. So they needed each other, even though this this expectation that they're keeping the band or whoever they can manage to keep from the band other than Big Ben together for a year is somehow going to be a championship contender. I think they're deluding themselves if they think this is like 2005 when Jerome Bettis came back for one more year. Mike, I would disagree with you on the fact that nobody would have paid him $19 million. I disagree fervently it, because, you know, what we learned with J.J. Watt when we said, well, Nobody's guaranteeing that guy seventeen and a half million. Well, he got guaranteed twenty three million, even though it's not o only over one year; it's over a couple of years. But I would be surprised, quite honestly, if Ben Roethlisberger were on the street and either the losers in the Deshaun Watson Derby or if Russell Wilson got traded, the losers in that Derby who also didn't get a quarterback in the draft who they think can play right away? Like, what do you think Matt Rule and Scott Fitterer and David Tepper in Carolina would have thought of Ben Roethlisberger on the street? Just my gut feeling, somebody in the NFL would have paid Ben Roethlisberger $19 million this year. Or, or, or when he would have signed, somebody would have reported it's $19 million. Then when we finally get the contract, the truth is it would have been a lot less than that. But nobody cares about the real numbers that come out two days later. Yeah. They only care about the fake numbers that multiple reporters will gladly disseminate as lies to their audience because that's how the sausage gets made. Because if you don't participate in lying to the audience, you don't get the scoops. Case in point, all we know about J.J. Watt, he's going to make $14.5 million this year. The rest of it... Who knows? Injury guarantee I'll submit for the remainder 
up to 23. But if he comes through the season healthy and they just say, we don't want to do this next year, he walks away with one year, 14 and a half million, three million less than what he was due to make from the Texans and uh, market value for him, 14 and a half. So I just I, I, I don't think he wanted to go there. I don't think he wanted to finish his career somewhere else. And we're going to have a draft coming up later in the program of guys who hung around one year too long. A lot of the guys who hung around one year too long went to another team for that one last year, and it was not good. So I, I don't think he would have played for someone else, but um, yeah, they, had to, they had to do it. They had to drop it down. Now, Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.